I want to show you how you can use Dynamics 365 Business Central to establish a sound financial control and reporting framework for your organization. It's pretty easy to do. There's a couple things you want to look at, and we're going to look at these items right here. We're going to look at the chart of accounts, look at foreign currency, how that's set up, look at budgets, look at the ability to reconcile to the general ledger, look at period cutoff, look at simple trial balance reporting, and finally financial reports. So let's get started. The basis for any accounting system is the chart of accounts. This can be a single account or it can be multiple accounts with additional modifiers. In Business Central, we have a chart of accounts that contains all the main accounts in our organization. We then use dimensions to further define the account strings that we're going to use in our transaction processing. Here's a chart of accounts here. You can see I've got the asset, liability accounts, revenue and expense accounts. Everything's in this chart of accounts that I'll be using to post transactions. I can also use dimensions in Business Central to further define the account strings. An account string would be a main account plus one, two, three or more dimensions. Most organizations will eventually be using foreign currency. They'll be transacting in foreign currency. They may even hold foreign currencies at their banks. Business Central allows you to identify a number of different currencies and all the accounting that goes into it to make sure that transactions are processed properly and that end of period reporting is done properly. I'm going to keep track of realized gains and losses. I'm also going to recognize unrealized gains and losses for reporting purposes. Within Business Central, I can also have exchange rates automatically updated for me on a regular basis. This is a powerful tool if you use foreign currencies in your organization. Another key control component is the establishment and use of budgets in reporting. In Business Central, I can set up an unlimited number of budgets. So I might have a preliminary budget, a final budget, and forecasts as I go through the year. Here I've got one budget set up. I can easily work with this budget by editing it in Excel. Let's edit it. Here's my current budget that I'm using. I can export it to Excel. Let's do that. Here's the budget in Excel. So what I can do here is if I want to make changes to the budget, I can make those changes right here. I can change numbers right here. I can use the functionality of Excel to speed this process up. When I'm done, I can import this back into the system. So let's go ahead and do that. I can import it back into Business Central and I've updated my budget. It's that simple. We'll look at later how I can take that budget that I have in Business Central and use that for financial reporting. A big part of maintaining a solid general ledger for your organization is to reconcile the detailed ledgers to the general ledger on a regular basis. You won't do this for every account, but you're going to do it for the large accounts like accounts receivable, accounts payable, and inventory. Here's a standard report in Business Central that allow you to easily reconcile inventory to the general ledger. Let's run it. Here's a result here. It's going to show you by item the value of the inventory in the inventory detail records and the value in the general ledger. It's going to show you any differences here. That makes doing that process of reconciling detail ledgers to the general ledger a lot easier to do. Another thing you'll want to do for your general ledger is to control the period and cutoff. You can easily do that in the user setup screen here. For each user, you can identify the proper posting period that they should be involved with. And it's easy to do. Right here, you can see the schedule. I can export that and edit it in Excel. Let's edit in Excel. And what I can easily do is then just copy this information down to the other users, publish it back into Business Central, and I'm done. And this is an easy way to control the period end and cutoff for your general ledger. Now let's look at some standard reporting options within Business Central. This is a standard trial balance report. I've got a number of different options I can use to get the report I need. 
This is a summary view. There's also a detail view available, but let's print this out. This is a pretty standard trial balance. I can start from here and get a better idea of what's in my general ledger for a reporting standpoint. I can also drill down and get more detail on this as well. There are detail reports. And finally, let's take a look at the financial reports that are available. This is a standard finance report writer in Business Central. Let's take a look at this one here. I'm going to select it and then run it. We'll print it out. And this is a basic income statement. It's easy to make this up. You can do it based on the chart of accounts automatically. And this shows my current period. It also shows my budget. It's bringing the budget in and I can easily add a variance. I can show a year to date amounts as well. This is one example of the financial reports tool that comes with Business Central. It's definitely an easy way to get financial reports out of Business Central. So we looked at how you can use Business Central to establish a financial control and reporting framework for your organization. We looked briefly at the chart of accounts, how you can set up foreign currencies, budgets, how you can reconcile the general ledger and establish good period and cutoffs. And then looked at some simple reporting, trial balance reporting, and also financial reports. Thank you.